Hello, everybody. My name is Buzzer. And I'm Sparky. Get ready for fun, because you've just joined the, the Bed, Bed Bug, Bug Bible, Bible Gang. Gang. We are the bed bugs and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bed bugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the bed bugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bed bugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. One, two, three. We are the bed bugs and we like to pray and praise and eat meringue. And if you like the song we sang, you're in the bed bug Bible gang, gang. Ding, 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 ding. You sure are here early today. I wanted to be sure to get a good seat for the parade. Right. Today's show is called The Prophet Parade because we're going to show the stories of prophets from the Bible. There will be fun things to see. After all, the prophets see some of the most amazing sights in the Bible, like bugs, for instance. Our first story is called Joel, the Bug Prophet. The prophets in the Bible can be often overlooked, but there's a special message inside every prophet's book. Who are the prophets? I don't know, but I'm ready to learn. Their books are filled with God's own word. The prophets write it down. So this good news can quickly spread to everyone around. That sounds like a great job. One prophet in the Bible, whom you might not rightly know, is liked by all the bedbug gang. This prophet's name is Joel. If the bedbugs like Joel, then I like him too. <laughs> you are a bedbug. The reason he's a favorite should be obvious to see. His book is filled with lots of bugs. Like me. And me. And me. A book full of bugs? Sounds like my kind of story. The people in Joel's country had been bad, it's sad to say. Although they should have followed God, those people turned away. They aren't following God. That doesn't sound good. God sent about a billion bugs to bug those folks a bit. The bugs ate every scrap of food. Those folks were quite upset. Those are some hungry bugs. Don't talk with your mouth full. But those bugs were not finished. They kept eating day and night. They ate each flower, ate each tree, and all the grass in sight. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. I'm stuffed! Joel said to all the people, You have made God very sad. God sent those bugs to eat your food because you were so bad. I feel just sick about that. Sorry, God! But God still loves you very much. Just wait a year or two, and everything those bugs ate up will soon be back brand new. That's good to hear. I can hardly wait. And you will all be brand new too, they heard Joel gladly say. You'll always follow God, and God will bless you every day. I'll always follow God. God makes me brand new. So now you know Joel's message. It's a happy one, you see. Joel said it's best to follow God. The bugs would all agree. Hey, I do agree. Me too, me too. What did you think of our first prophet, Sparky? Well, at first those people made me sad. Then those bugs made me hungry. Then God's message made me happy all over again. Sounds like you got the message, Sparky. Let's sing a song about Joel the Bug Prophet. When Joel the prophet looked around, a billion bugs are what he found. The Lord had sent them, that's no lie, and Joel told all the people why. God loved them, but they don't care. God loved them, but they don't care. God loved them, but they don't care. The bugs are here to stay. The bugs ate all the people's food, which some might find extremely rude. But Joel just said it's ruder still to not love God or do God's will. God loved them, but they don't care. God loved them, but they don't care. God loved them, but they don't care. The bugs are here to stay. 
But Joel has better news to say. The food will all grow back someday. The people will grow better too. They do what God would like them to. God loves them and now they care. God loves them and now they care. God loves them and now they care. The bugs have gone away. Sing along. When Joel the prophet looked around, a billion bugs are what he found. The Lord had sent them, that's no lie. And Joel told all those people why. God loved them, but they don't care. God loved them, but they don't care. God loved them, but they don't care. The bugs are here to stay. The bugs ain't all the people's food, which some might find extremely rude. But Joel just said it's ruder still to so not love God or do God's will. God loved them, but they don't care. God loved them, but they don't care. God loved them, but they don't care. The bugs are here to stay. But Joel has better news to say. The food will all grow back someday. The people will grow better too. To do what God would like them to. God loves them, and now they care. God loves them, and now they care. God loves them, and now they care. The bugs have gone away. <laughs> Good job. That was a super bug-filled song, gang. You can sing it whenever you'd like. But try not to bug anyone. <laughs> can you match up these pictures from the Prophet Joel story? We can start with this picture of Joel. Where is his match? There he is. This Joel is listening closely to God. Now, can you find a match for these grumpy people? That's great! You found the match for that group of people. Now, find a match for this picture of a hungry bug. You found it! That bug looks really hungry. Can you find a match for this picture of a plant? That's the one! It looks like someone's been chewing on that plant. Just one left. Where is the match for this praying person? Alright, you found all the matches. That game was great! I'm ready to see the next prophet march by, Buzzer. Great, Sparky. And I think this prophet's story will make you want to stand up and march, too. Sounds like fun, Buzzer. What's the story called? This story is about a prophet named Ezekiel. It's called Dry Bones. In Babylon, a far-off land where kings once ruled in castles grand, the Israelites were trapped, you see. They lived there in captivity. These people are trapped! Trapped like mice! Rats! They hadn't loved God as they ought, so God allowed them to be caught and taken off to Babylon to sit and wait as years went on. They should have stuck with God! Now they're just plain stuck. They felt so sad and all alone, and often dreamt of going home. But God had not forgotten them. God knew that they'd return again. God never forgets us. God always loves us. God chose a very special man to tell the people of God's plan. God picked that prophet very well. The prophet's name? Ezekiel. Howdy, Ezekiel. God took Ezekiel one day out to a valley far away. And there Ezekiel saw a sight that turned his skin six shades of white. What? What? What did he see? Uh, uh, I don't know. For everywhere that he could see were bones as dry as they could be. Ezekiel thought, me, oh my. These scary bones are old and dry. Eek! Bones! That's disgusting. God asked the strangest question then. Can these bones come to life again? Ezekiel answered straight and true. Dear God, no one knows that but you. Come to life again? I'm sure God could do it. Speak to these bones, he hears God shout. Tell them to stand and walk about. God's word is all these dry bones need, and you will see them walk indeed. God's word is powerful. I want to stand up and listen! Ezekiel followed God's command. He told those bones to rise and stand. And right before the prophet's eyes, those old dry bones did truly rise. That's telling them, Ezekiel! Wow! Now you have seen what you can do with just the word God gives to you. Go tell the Israelites the news that soon they will be walking too. 
God's word is for the Israelites, too. They'll love to hear it. Those people have not followed me. They're like these old dry bones, you see. But you will share my word with them, and I will lead them home again. When they hear God's word, they'll follow. Just like those old dry bones did. That's what I like to hear. That story was super to hear. God's word is so powerful, it can even make dry bones stand up and march around. And God's word is fun to follow, isn't it, Buzzer? Sounds like it, Sparky. That's what Ezekiel heard. And now we've heard it, too. Share God's word so everyone can hear. The dry bones in Ezekiel's story listen to God's word. How good a listener are you? Listen to these sounds and see if you can tell what they are. Here's the first sound. Did you guess that that was a dog? Then you're right. Okay, listen to this super sound. That sounded just like a fire truck siren. Good job. Listen to this. Sounds like a trumpet to me. You're doing great. Just a few more sounds to hear. Listen up. Hey, I think that sounded like a plate crashing to the floor. Have you ever heard that before? One more sound to hear. If you said that was a bed bug buzzing, you're right. It was me. Great job, everyone. That game sure sounded fun, and you did super. You probably hear that all the time. Da -da -da. And now, I'm proud to present the Bed Bug Bandoliers with their latest, greatest hit, Five Little Bed Bugs. I just got back the other day For oh so long I've been away I climb upstairs just to rest my head And there are five little bed bugs in my bed Five bed bugs Five bed bugs Where oh where I gonna rest my head Cause there are five little bed bugs in my bed The bed bugs there it's sleepy time, so I jump right in that bed of mine. The bed bugs sleep, the bed bugs snore, and when I bounce on the bed now, they just four. Oh, four bed bugs! Four bed bugs! Where oh where I gonna rest my head? Cause there are four little bed bugs in my bed. Now a bed bug small, just half my size. So I try and try just to close my eyes. I say, move over, you're crowding me. And when the bug rolls up now, they just three. Oh, three bed bugs. Three bed bugs. Where, oh, where I gonna rest my head? Cause there are three little bed bugs in my bed. I say, good night. I say sleep tight. I said, I hope you bed bugs do not bite. Cause if you bite me, then I bite you. The little bug got scared, now they just do. Oh, two bed bugs. Two bed bugs. Where, oh, where I gonna rest my head? Cause there are two little bed bugs in my bed. I still can't sleep, I cannot lay down Because the two bed bugs want to play around They say a pillow fight would be lots of fun And when the feathers clear, now they just won Oh, one bed bug One bed bug Where, oh, where I gonna rest my head? Cause there is one little bed bug in my bed I said Little bed bug, you're on your own and you can sleep in my bed if you leave me alone. So I close my eyes and I sleep till dawn. But while I snore away, the bugs jump back on. Five bed bugs. Five bed bugs. Where, oh, where I gonna rest my head? Cause I got five little bed bugs in my bed. Oh, I got five little bed bugs. Bed. 
Thank you, Bedbug Bandoliers. It gave me just enough time to get ready for our last story. Will we meet another prophet in this story, Buzzer? Well, I can't tell the future, but I think that's a pretty good guess. Only God can tell the future, Buzzer. That's right. And God tells the prophets. And the prophets tell us. Let's hear what God has to say in our next story, Isaiah's Message. Isaiah was a prophet. That's a very special word. It means he listened close to God and wrote down what he heard. What you write, Isaiah? He's writing God's word. Isaiah knew that folks should hear the things that God had said. He shared God's word with everyone. That's just what prophets did. People really should hear this. And Isaiah's just the guy to tell them. Those people had been waiting for a thousand years or more. So long that they could hardly think what they'd been waiting for. What are we waiting for? I was hoping you knew. But dear Isaiah said the wait won't be much longer now. God's going to save us all, he said. But when? And where? And how? God's coming to save us. That's what we're waiting for. Isaiah told them of God's plan and how it would be done. He wrote, a child will soon be born. God's sending us a son. God's sending a son. That sounds familiar. His shoulders will be strong enough to hold up everything. He's wonderful. He's mighty. A forever peaceful king. That's some kind of king. How will you know our king has come? Just open up your eyes. He'll ride upon a donkey. That should be a real surprise. Riding on a donkey? I think I know this king. This king will be like me and you. A humble man, you'll see. He'll come to serve and save us all. We'll be forever free. This really is good news. This really is God's news. So clear the way. He's almost here. Make sure the roads are straight. The God of glory will arrive. We all will shout, he's great. The king is coming. I can hardly wait. Perhaps you know this loving king Isaiah said would come. It's Jesus who has saved us all. He is God's promised son. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. I knew he sounded familiar. Jesus saves us all. That was really worth the wait. I hope you liked our story. The bedbugs love to share the news that Jesus is the promised king. He's our wonderful counselor, our mighty God, our prince of peace. He's the grand master in the parade. <laughs> you would have made a great prophet, Sparky, because you love to tell everyone how great God is. Hey, everybody. God is great. Now you can sing a song about Isaiah's message. We'll help you learn it. Isaiah's a prophet for the Lord, hurrah, hurrah. A prophet who loved to share God's word, hurrah, hurrah. The Lord had made a plan, you see, the people waited patiently, and Isaiah told them, somebody's going to come. Isaiah said, God will send a son, hurrah, hurrah. A child will you born for everyone, hurrah, hurrah. So wonderful and mighty to a heavenly prince and peaceful too, and we all will bow for somebody really comes. But how will we know this king, you say, hurrah, hurrah. He'll ride on a donkey, hip, hooray, hurrah, hurrah. Who is the king? Now take a guess. If you say Jesus, I say yes, and we all are free, for Jesus again will come. Everybody sing along! Isaiah's a prophet for the Lord, hurrah, hurrah. A prophet who loved to share God's word, hurrah, hurrah. The Lord had made a plan, you see, the people waited patiently, and Isaiah told them, somebody's going to come. Isaiah said, God will send a son, hurrah, hurrah, a child will be born for everyone, hurrah, hurrah, so wonderful and mighty too, a heavenly prince and peaceful too, and we all will bow for somebody really comes. But how will we know this king, you say, hurrah, hurrah, they'll ride on a donkey, hip, hooray, hurrah, hurrah, who is the king, now take a guess, if you say Jesus, I say yes, and we all are free, and Jesus again will come, good job. That song really sounded super. Share it with everyone you meet.
Can you tell which picture from the Isaiah story is different from all the others? We can start with this picture of Isaiah the prophet. Which picture is different? You got it! This picture shows Isaiah writing God's message. Look at these pictures of the baby Isaiah said would be born. Which one is different? Right! This picture of baby Jesus is different from the others. Look at these pictures of a kingly crown. Which crown is different? Right again! That crown is colored blue. Look at this picture of a humble donkey. Which picture does not match? That's it! This donkey is giving our king a ride. Just one more. Which person is different from all the others? You found it! This person is praying to our promised king. Good job! That's all the time we have for today, gang. We hope you had fun, and we hope to see you again real soon. And always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye-bye! We are the Bed and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the Bed Bugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the Bed Bugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the Bed Bugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. One, two, three. We are the Bed Bugs and we like to pray and praise and eat meringue. And if you like the song we sang, you're in the Bed Bug Bible gang. Gang, ding, 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 ding.